So when you open your R Studio, by default, this is the interface that you will get. This is a scripting area where you can write your scripts. This is your console where you can directly write the commands and also see the output of the of the commands. This is your environment variable and history and connections and tutorial area. So here you will see the messages uh, regarding your variables that you use here. Also, you can go back to the history and see what you've done until now. Uh, you could also go to tutorial and search for uh, help and commands that you may want to use. And this is the last quadrant. In this quadrant, you'll see your files, your plots, your packages, your help area again, and then also you have a viewer. So we'll talk of some of the tricks and traits that can be used in R Studio to customize it to your further requirements. So by default, this is the arrangement, but if you want to bring the console on top here, you could do that by going to this four square area here. So you can do that by going to this four square area here and you can click here and you can say console on right. So now your console has come on right. You want to clear out whatever is being shown here so that you have absolutely clear area and, and, and no other messages. So you can click on this brush here. This will help you clear out the area very clearly. Then of course, uh, what you can also do is to, to define your working directory so you could define a working directory in command line but since you have the integrated development environment the r studio what you can do is you can directly go here and you can say session in the session you can say set working directory and then you can choose the directory that you want to be your working directory and directly you'll be able to access files in that for example here in f i go to r human genome and choose it as my working directory here, right? So this is now set at F R human genome. So any file in the F drive and within the R human genome folder can be directly accessed by the command here. So for example, here, let me also show you how you can check whether the command is working or not. So you say, uh, get WD, which is the command for saying get working directory. So you want to know which working directory you are in. So you can say get WD and you say run and you get your idea that you are in f drive r human genome folder right if you want to change working directory you can also say in the command line so i've already shown you how you can do it in the uh, using the session so you could go to session you could go to uh, uh, set working directory and then you could choose another directory for example now let me choose another directory so i go to e and i go to let's say my photo directory that is my bird's best so i say this here and it will now move to e directory the bird's best folder which is my photograph folders where i save my bird photographs right and now if you want to change the directory you can say set wd so the same thing can be done in command line as well so you say set you say set wd and then you open the folder and you say in inverted commas F, which is the drive to which you want to go, separated by next followed by the colon. And then with the slash, you say R underscore H U M A N underscore G E N O M A, right? So this is how you can go in the command line and set your working directory again. So I say run, and now I am in F R human you know, working directory again, right? And then, of course, uh, you could also do other settings here. For example, I want to change the background here. I want a better for dark background or a dark theme, or I want to change the theme. So I will go to tools and in tools, I'll go to global options. In the global options, I'll go to appearance, right? And in appearance, now, if you see, uh, you could set up your theme here. You could set up your zoom levels. You could set up your editor font. And then of course, editor font size, and more importantly, you can choose a lot of themes from here. For example, uh, the moment I choose a theme, you'll see the change in difference here. So this is your clouds theme. You could go for cobalt theme. So you'll have a dark background and in which you'll have everything else very clearly seen. You could go to crimson editor. You could go to Dracula. You could go to Dreamweaver and so on and so forth. So let me go to cobalt because I see the background is very clear and also the front uh, the foreground and the font that is there is also very clear in the background here and you can see the commands or the functions are very clearly now in uh, you know uh, the uh, uh, orange color 
and anything within the coats is in the green color and then the rest of it is in white color the the braces or the brackets are in light blue color so this is quite a bit of a contrast and that probably would look a lot better than the uh, dull and dreary uh, white background so what you can do is you can say apply here and now if you see i have changed this here and you can say okay and now everything is changed here right so this is uh, how you can change your theme your lookout your uh, your uh, your appearance of the uh, of the uh, r studio right so what i've done today is i have shown you how to change panels so let's say you move you want to move the console to the right so you could go here again and say console to on right so it is on right again then uh, what you can also do is define your working directory so you could go to sessions and say uh, set working directory and choose directory from here and then of course whichever directory you choose would be your working directory now the same thing you can do with the command line saying set wd and giving the path so what happens is whatever file is there in our human genome that can be opened can be opened directly without giving the file path because your default path is now in that particular subfolder or subdirectory right then we have talked about how to change the background so you could go to tools again you could go to global option and global option you can go to uh, appearance and in appearance you could choose any of these to uh, any of these uh, themes so for example here pastel on dark so this is how it is going to look solarized dark doesn't look very interesting sql server so this is again a white background with some differences and colors in command tomorrow night 80s and tomorrow night bright so these are interesting names that you have twilight the twilight saga and then xcode and so on and so forth so we'll stick to cobalt i guess that is a nice theme here right so we go to cobalt again and you say apply and you say okay and we are done right? and we are here now and now i can open my script from here i can go to file and say open file and i can open my script so in the first lecture i'd open the script named vectors so let me just open that for an example and you can see here uh, you have vector right so vector is what i'm going to open here so uh, i think uh, in the first one yeah so you could use vector right so i'm opening vector here and there you are right so this will open up the vector file so now you can run the program and you can see the output here on the left hand side so this is already we have talked about this in the uh, other lectures so i'm not just showing you the entire thing just that i'll show you when you run it how does it run so this is where you are and you have the run and you have everything here so now in your environment uh, column you have these variables a equals to number one two three and the values are one two three a b is another uh, number vector that is again containing three elements and then of course from position one to three and that the values are 4 10 and 18 and so on and so forth so you know depending on what you have defined in the program you will get those values here so this is uh, how you can uh, manipulate your r studio to, to basically customize the appearance of our studio as per your requirement so in the next lecture we talk about matrices which is the second data type in r